everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Boulder's Gate 2, Shadows of Amon. Last episode, we did some more exploring down here in the Underdark. Found a village of deep gnomes known as Smurf Neblin. They asked us to take care of a creature that they had managed to awaken. And uh, in return, they'll give us a gem that'll allow us to reach someone who should be able to help us get into the Drow City where we will be able to find um, Irenicus. Also found this uh, imprisoning crystal thing with four hostile beings and one innocent Smurf, Nerblin, Smurf Neblin. Anyway, with all that handled, let's keep looking around down here. I'm curious what else we'll find. Could be interesting things, you never know. Kith! Erdle- Kith! Erdlegnas, Odflus, Glenden, Odge. Hello, I seek passage through this realm of yours. Clodgdo gith dal shaug gosath gita! This isn't going to end well, is it? Sekath da glosnanda, Odge, dasa! Well, we got hostile Kuotoa. And we've got a Kotoan wizard as well. Frederick's been charmed. Not good. Oh, you swamp out for a flail. Oh, that's a lot of Kotoa. This is not good. Okay, I gotta reload. Yeah, that was rapidly going south. Fine, we'll ignore the Koa for now, and we'll come back to them. We'll take a look in this uh, northern path instead. Surely that's less dangerous than dealing with an entire horde of Kuotoa. And we have a bridge. Oh! A drill war party teleports into the area. Stench of sinister magic pervading all. Oh dear! You point, I punch. What is it now? Did not see that coming. Yes, in the name of God. Okay, we are able to kill them, but we're taking quite a bit of damage here. Okay, Minst, Anamin, you go for that one. You're kind of stuck back there. You four can deal with these. And one of us died. Damn it, reloading. Okay, so we've got Kotoa and a Dro War Party. Kuotoan Wizard is honestly the worst and most dangerous of all of them because of his ability to charm and the like. Okay, this is where the Drow showed up. Yes, so if I send you ahead... I am pleased at the progress that this ill-conceived group has made. I had not thought my thing possible. Alright, get on oh, these Drow. You two are kind of stuck there, so go after that one. Frederick, you charge up, deal with that one. The rest of you deal with these down here while you can. Is this the direction to the drug city? Because I feel like it might be. I love the smell of daisies in the morning! Okay! So, I had to a lot of shit here. I can carry no more. I'm gonna throw all of these into here. Because we'll be able to sell it all, and it's all heavy shit. Ooh, even long swords.
Okay. I will like I said, best. this is probably where the direction to the Drow City. Let me save before I go any closer. All right. Let's see what's in here. It's definitely. Oh wait. Dark cave. That's just a cave? Is this not where the Drow City is located? Oh, but there are more Drow. That one ran off. Tuusnatha. Alright, so that is the Drow City. The massive gate to the Drow City is closed to outsiders. Only Drow have access to the city within. Okay, then. So then what's the Dark Cave? An impenetrable darkness overwhelms you. You cannot pass this way without light. Ah! So that's where we'd need to go in order to open up the path and get into the city. Gotcha. So the only other passage we have down here... be the one leading to the uh, Kuotoa. They are fairly strong. Worryingly so. Alright. Fine. I'll walk up to here and then I'll save before we deal with the Kuotoa. Just be safe. All right, just to prepare, seven. because they're powerful, cast a blessing, and you can go ahead and cast a healing on her. On my honor. All right, let's go. Two of us are now... Three of us are now paralyzed. Frederick is the only one who isn't. That is bad. Here's all the other Kuotoa, but as long as I deal with the wizard... They shouldn't be able to hurt me. Okay, the wizard is dealt... There's another wizard. And a priest. That's not good. Okay. Yes? Okay, Frederick is surviving fairly decently. We're taking a lot of damage. Aerie, can you get a healing on him? You actually cast one of those. Okay, Aerie. No, no, no. You stay here. Keep fighting. Okay, the others are all un are all undone. Good. I won't let my friends be hurt. Good. Now we're ca now we're whittling them down quickly. This is going much better. And then the and then the whip. What dangerous mistake. Okay. That went a lot better. I don't chop wood, okay? I'm not an axe. I had to drop your item on the ground. Yeah, yeah, sure you did. Okay, so we've got a load of gems, a couple scrolls I don't need, and a bunch of bolts. There are the scrolls in there. What kind of bolts are these? Kuo Toen bolts. Simple enough. Okay, 
So we've cleared out the passage to the cool Toen home. Let's see what we find. Oh! Southern tunnels. So we have a passage to the western tunnels and the southern tunnels. The Kuotoan the Kuotoa must have just been guarding that bridge. And there's a path to the eastern tunnels. So we have the western tunnels, the southern tunnels, and the eastern tunnels. Very interesting. All right, let's head back here so we can get these items identified and sell them because I'm pretty sure we're not going to keep them. Hold on, what? I don't know. It looked like that moved, but maybe I'm just crazy. Okay. Interesting that there were only three elemental doorways. I thought there would have been four. I guess I was wrong. Alright. Carlig! We got items that need identifying, if you don't mind. Okay, the spear is Backbiter 3. This cursed weapon will appear as a magical spear. However, when a combat situation arises, the wielder will attack an enemy, and Backbiter will attack the wielder. For every attack made, Backbiter will attack the foe and also the wielder. This is a powerful spear, but one must ask if it is worth it in the end. The only way that Backbiter can be removed is by a remove curse spell. Three points of damage inflicted on the wielder upon every su successful hit. Well, that's stupid. Jor the Bleeder. This blade belonged to Ho Mang, a traveler from Karatur who accepted dubious service at courts throughout Faerun. Skilled in persuasion, he would use the sword to perform the Death of a Thousand Cuts, an ancient ritual from his homeland involving a, seri a lengthy series of small, painful incisions. The properties of the blade prevent blood from clotting, and the victim slowly bleeds to death. The sword was stolen, and its whereabouts have been a mystery until now. Two extra po damage every round until ten hit points of damage done. Interesting. Well, we can sell those. It looks like we can't sell the Kuoto and Bolt, so we have no reason to hold on to them. And I can't actually look into the bag, so... Let's pull a few things out. Let's pull out one of each. Pretty sure we're not going to use any of these bolts. Oh no, I still have room for things. Right. There, there's a fair amount of stuff. Alright, Carlig. If you don't mind, let's see what we got. We have... Trophil plate, we know about that. Draw shield. Basic medium shield. We've got draw flail. Basic flail. Draw adamantine chain. Okay. We've got draw bolt of stunning. Save versus death or be stunned for four rounds. Just a regular bolt. Drow Crossbow of Speed, an extra attack around. Drow Longsword. These swords are okay. Again, made of adamantine, but it's a plus three sword. Okay, we can sell a bunch of these easily. They're actually not worth as much as I thought they'd be worth. They're really not worth much. I don't know if the long sword would necessarily be worth it. This regenerates hit points and gives immunity to fear and detect invisibility. But it is a plus two weapon. I probably could use a plus three. I mean, I'm still keeping Burning Earth. It's basically been a godsend against trolls and the like because it does fire damage. Cold using creatures... Eh. Undead, it is the best weapon I have against undead, short of that mace that uh, does what it does. Also, did you swap back? You did not swap back. I'm stupid. 
Okay. Let's th take out the rest of this stuff, get it identified. Get these items sold. It's honestly not worth it to carry it. What with the cost to get it all identified and then sell it all. 600 gold to sell it and get it. 600 gold to get it identified and 710 to sell it. Yeah, the dro stuff honestly isn't really worth it. I mean, I'll hold on to the longsword just because it might be useful in the future. But that's it. All right, let's head back up to this for Nevlin. First, we'll report into the. We'll speak to the guy whose son we saved. So that'll be good. It's gonna be a bit of a run, but we'll get there. And I am actually, honestly, really curious about these other tunnels. I'm probably going to look at them before I go through the cave and deal with that. Because there could be some very interesting tunnels there. Interesting thing with things within those tunnels. Plus, we need to find that guy who's been uh, imprisoned. Alright. Come on, head around. We'll probably check the western tunnels first. Then the southern, then the eastern. Yes, yes, exploring the Underdark more than we need to. Shush. You know me by now. Come on, come on, you can get around. There we go. Thurndal, I come to report in unto you. Hmm, yes. Forgive my intrusion, but I have news. I found your child and set him free. My child? He did return most recently and had a tale of rescue to tell. I thought him mad from hunger or worse. I would not have guessed surfacers would come to his aid. Those not of the granite seldom look our way at all. Please accept this gift on his behalf. I thank you, I do. I went to Thurndall Dagglefond to tell him of how I rescued his child, and he was surprised that surfaces would come to his aid. He was most generous with his reward. And we got a pair of bracers. What kind of bracers are these? Bracers of Defense AC4. You know what? Actually, what are you currently using? You're not using anything. That would improve it slightly. That would improve it massively compared to... What are these? Gloves of Healing. Is there anyone not wearing any gloves? You've got the Dale's Protector. You've got the Brawling Hands. You've got Hands of Tackhawk. Hold on a moment. What are, gloves are you wearing? Thacko plus one. You know what? That is Dexterity to eight. That's why you're at 18. You know what? If I give these to you... That actually improves Thacko and damage. It's much more worth it. There. Now you've got more strength. You can carry more. You can now carry 400 pounds, compared to 170. Yeah, that's worth it. You're going to use that. And from 9 to 16 to 14 to 21. Yeah, that's... Why did I not do that? Fine. The gloves, I guess... It heals poison effects. I guess I can put them in here. Who knows? Maybe I'll need them at some point in the future. Either way, I'm happy with that. Now, let's head up here and deal with this creature. I do wonder what it is. We still have, uh, like, five minutes or so, give or take. We can deal with it, I think. Hopefully. Let's just, of course, save first. All right then, uh, you. 
I have been informed of the permission given. You may pass into the depths if you wish, though I worry for the dangers you may face. Thank you. It's a lot of dead. Ah, it's a, uh, passage down. Okay, this dark pit gives you a feeling of unease. Darkness overwhelms you, and you sense another. It's a Balor! And Frederick got paralyzed. Okay, gotta reload here, because the Balor is about to kill me. Well, I'm gonna be reloading. My weapon does nothing. So it's a Balor that we're killing here. Fine then. Balor shall die. Horrible demon that it is. Yes, Avery, you activate it. Yes? This place is just too dark to be Kill the Balor! My weapon has no effect! My weapon has no effect! Okay, that's not good. Uh, maybe this is where we need the draw longsword. What is my task? Yes, we need the level three weapon in order to kill the Balor. I'm glad we picked that up. Now, pardon me, I gotta reload again. Okay, good to know. Need a tier three yes. weapon in order to kill the Balor. Fortunately, we did manage to find one, and I can use it. Forget the mace. Just put the mace in there. We need this plus three weapon in order to kill the Balor. Yes? Consider it done. Yes? Aerie, Back once again, you go trigger the thing. Okay, let Animan through. What is my task? All right. I'm so happy you brought me. Kill the Balor. I can't do too much damage, but it should be enough to hopefully kill it. And Minsk is dying again. And Frederick was actually frozen. God damn. Reloading again. What about now? All right, so we need to do yes. some more preparation for this. So, yes. Frederick, go here. What is it? Anaman here. You point Minsk where here. Goes. Jahera here. Imowen in the back. Yes. Aerie, you're gonna Faster trigger it when we're ready. As for spells to cast, Sword, let's see. You. I guess get a bark skin on yourself. I shall go forth at your command. You are going to cast a bless. I await you me. are going to cast. Hmm. Nothing at the moment. What do you want? You are going to cast. Nothing at the moment. I'll help You're gonna I can. cast a haste, without a doubt. Where is haste? You've only got one haste, but at least it's something. I shall strike. Okay. Armor of faith, probably good good idea to cast. I don't know if we actually got that blessing out. I think I interrupted it. What can I do? Yeah, I think I interrupted it. I'll do it. All right, time to kill the Balor. Everyone, get on it quickly! Kill it as fast as you freaking can. Oh, I forgot to switch out the weapon. 
We lost some very critical time here. And Frederick's been paralyzed. Damn it. Damn it! Oh, that could have gone so much better. We will kill this Balor. This time, actually do this. Okay. What is it? <sighs> Very well. You point. I punch. Major, sir, it is done. Yes. Faster than Chick. Take a fast yep. pause. All right. Once again, get all these spells cast out. I shall go forth at your command. You get armor Sword, faith. Not you get a bark skin. I await your need. You go ahead, cast your bless. I'll help however Aerie, I can. Aerie, you go ahead with a haste. You know what? Just to add in, Ottoman, get a prayer out. What can I do? I'll do it. All right, trigger it, bring out the Balor. Now get on it immediately. Kill that thing. Doing a lot more damage to it now. Hair is paralyzed, but I'm still going. Got it! The Balor is handled. The rest of us were all paralyzed. But the Balor is handled. The pit is empty. Alright. Wait for this to end, and we can go turn in the quest. And we'll get some desperately needed rest. He's four out of a, four members of our party are just completely out of it. Everything's wearing off now. Alright, Imowen's the only one still kinda confused what is my task consider it done just gotta wait for her to no longer be confused is that what it is confused stunned she's stunned so wait for the stun to wear off then we'll go turn in the quest and we'll be good come on come on We're all fatigued because of the haste, I think. Cause to succeed. I feel like that's new. Like, we didn't used to get fatigued after a haste. On there we go. I okay. My best. Let's go report in that we have accomplished the goal. Then we'll take a much-needed rest, and next episode we'll head to the Western Tunnels, see what we can find. Alright, Goldander, I have news. You are welcome back. We had worried for your safety as though one of our own were in danger. I heard the rumblings of your battle, and I am glad to see you alive. I thank you immeasurably. Despite your great action, I must ask you to return to the cavern where you fought the evil thing. It must be collapsed. Ah! I forgot about the scroll. Okay. Yes, I completely forgot about uh, that. I'll go heroes. handle that immediately. You and Boo and I, hamsters and rangers everywhere, rejoice! Uh, do I just need to interact with it, or do I actually need to cast the thing? Yes. Yes. As it's possible, I can just interact with it. The pit is empty. Okay, fine. There we go. What is my task? All right, Very that's well. all handled. Now we can go and report into him. Sorry about that. I completely forgot about the collapsing of the cavern. <laughs> 
Everything's handled now. We're fine. The Balor is dead. Oh. I demand that we stop. The day was not this long, even when I led soldiers in the order. Don't worry, we're gonna Rest stop would soon. Be welcome, lest we endanger ourselves. You are welcome back. We had worried for your With safety. With the tunnel collapse, so the creature will not be disturbed again. I know it is dead, but who knows what could happen with such things. It will trouble you no more. Yes, and with all haste. I will not delay your own goals a second longer. Please, accept this magical item as partial payment. And also the light gem. With this, you will be able to pass the great stairs and enter the lair of Adalon. I wish you well. Hey, Minsk leveled up. Beautiful. Oh, I'm getting sleepy. Wish we could stop Ooh, a proficiency a slot. Uh... Not really anything that needs to be improved. A level 2 spell. Yay. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. Because there isn't really anything I want to improve for him. Because he's got two-handed sword as good as he needs to. He's got mace as good as he needs to. He's got longbow as good as he needs to. He's got two-handed weapon style as good as he needs to. I guess I can improve two weapon style for his mace use. Sure. Alright, and as for a spell here, um... Sure. He doesn't really cast spells much. And we got... What is this mace? You know what? Identify it. Skull Crusher 3. This mace is permanently bloodstained, a telltale trace of its many years spent bashing heads. The weapon would have been the bane of humanoids throughout its history, but those that wielded it seem to have been purposely left out of historic record. Plus 3 damage, damage 1d6 plus 4, and another plus 2 against humanoids. Impressive, I must say. Actually better than Ardulia's Fall. Yeah, I'll give that to you. And you know what? This uh, this other mace, I should give to you. Okay, and these two we can actually sell. We don't need our Dulia's Fall anymore. The light gem is going to be useful. All right, and with that, I'm going to end this we episode here. Soon. Next Ooh, episode, really? we're going to take a look in the Western Caverns and see what oh, we can see. Till then, thinking. I'm Chester44, that so is Frederick Lionheart, Minsk, Jeez. Sir Anaman, Jehera, oh, Imwin, right. and Airy. This has been a Let's Play of Baldur's Gate 2, Shadows of Amun. And I shall see you all next time.